What's up guys? Hey VC, so I'm back making another vinyl collection video. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, it's going to be symphonic metal, power metal, and like Viking metal or folk metal. Um, folk metal and power metal especially, I was really into like a year or two ago and I listened to quite a few bands, but I didn't really keep listening to any too many of them except for uh, two that I have here and then the one symphonic metal band I just bought. I'm not sure why. You know, I haven't really listened to it that much, but it's still pretty good stuff, so I'll talk about those in just a minute. Um, I only have five vinyl here, uh, five albums on vinyl, and then like four CDs. Uh, some of their st this stuff is kind of hard to find on vinyl, uh, especially by two of the bands that I'm going to show. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to expand my collection in the future. Before we get started, I want to talk about a couple reasons why I like this music. Um... One of them is a lot of the bands that make this kind of music have the clean vocals. Um, I don't like the death growls and the black metal shrieks. Um, I know a lot of people do. I keep trying to listen to bands that have them to just kind of get used to it and, you know, kind of start liking it, but haven't been able to so far. Um, definitely not the death growls. I just can't listen to that stuff yet. Um, I respect the bands that make them, and a lot of those bands have really good music that I, I like, but I just don't like the vocals too much. So that's one big thing I like about these three bands that I have here is they have clean vocals. So um, another aspect of, these, these, uh, that of this music I like is the fantasy lyrics. Um, you know, they talk about either fantasy, like one band is heavy talking about Tolkien or their own concepts, um, and also like some of the folk traditions and like mythology of uh, you know, folk metal uh, folk metal bands so I really like that a lot so uh, yeah I guess that's it let's go ahead and get right into it um, the first band is an Italian band uh, they're symphonic metal or symphonic power metal that kind of stuff um, and these guys are Rhapsody of Fire this is their album from 2013 called Dark Wings of Steel it's on AFM records um, these guys used to be just called Rhapsody on some of their older albums, and they had to change it for like copyright reasons to just uh, to Rhapsody of Fire from just Rhapsody. This is also their first album that doesn't have their guitarist, uh, the founding member Luca Torelli, on it. He broke off to form his own version of the band called Luca Torelli's Rhapsody. So I read that it's pretty much like a parallel version of this band. Symphonic metal is not. Um, something I'll listen to all the time. I kind of have to be like in the right mood for it, but it's still some pretty good stuff on here, so I thought I'd show it. It kind of fits with this, uh, the rest of these bands that I'm going to show. Here's the back. Um, this is limited to 650 copies. It's on red vinyl, which I'll show you in just a minute. Here's the gatefold. Got all the lyrics in there. Um, some of the lyrics are in, ta in Italian, which is kind of cool. I like it when bands sing in there. Um, native languages. Um, here's one of the vinyl. This is on pretty thick vinyl. I don't know if it's 180 or not, but it's still pretty thick. What's that? So, cool looking red vinyl there. Um, I haven't checked out too much of the older stuff that these guys made, but um, I have read no, excuse me, that they kind of created their own fantasy saga called the Emerald Sword Saga. And um, a lot of their older albums, I think, feature that. So, the stuff on here is uh, very orchestral, but still heavy, still heavy metal. And um, so it's a decent album, you know. If you guys haven't checked them out, I recommend you check them out, especially if you like the symphonic metal type stuff. So, this is Rhapsody of Fire, Dark Wings of Steel. Um, the next band, I have only one piece of vinyl by them and four CDs that I want to show real quick. Um, these guys are probably one of my favorite bands. Um, I actually got to see them in 2015 um, at a place not too far from where I live, so that was cool. And that's where I got the t-shirt. It's a Blind Guardian. If you guys have watched Dwayne Lazarus's videos, he talked a lot about Blind Guardian. He's got a lot of cool Blind Guardian albums. Um, so... He didn't turn me on to him. I knew about him before I started watching him, but I really liked that he showed some of the stuff that I want to get because these guys, a lot of their vinyl is hard to 
get or it's very expensive. So these guys are a German band. Um, their earlier stuff is kind of like thrash metal or speed metal. Then they kind of switch to just like power metal or a little bit of progressive metal. And then their newer stuff like this album is um, more of the symphonic orchestral metal. So my, my favorite stuff by them is probably like in the middle ground. Um, but, you know, all their albums that they've made have stuff that I like on them. Uh, so, as I said, this is their latest album. It's Beyond the Red Mirror. This is on Nuclear Blast. Um, double LP. I believe this is like a continuation of one of their fantasy sagas from their one of their earlier albums. Can't remember which one off the top of my head. Um, but these guys, I really like... Um, the vocals in this, as I said, this is one of the key factors that I like about these genres, but especially Blind Guardian, Hansi Kirsch, his voice is freaking amazing. It's powerful. So let me show you one of the vinyls here real quick. This is on just black vinyl. So this isn't my favorite album by them. Like I said, I like the middle stuff a little bit better. But it's still great stuff on this album. And I'm happy to have at least one piece of Blind Guardian music on vinyl. There's one of the inner sleeves. And this is actually their 10th album, too. I wrote that down. I have a couple notes here I'm looking at. Try to remember this stuff, because I don't have too much confidence talking about the music yet. So, sorry if these videos are a little choppy still. Uh, let's see. So there's Beyond the Red Mirror. So now let me show you a few CDs by them real quick. Um, these CDs kind of like are my favorite albums by them. That's why I bought them on CD. Um, number one, because I can't get them on vinyl. And number two, I don't usually buy CDs, but I would like I wanted to have like a physical form of their music. And also, uh, their music wasn't on iTunes at the time. And I don't think it still is. I haven't checked in a while, but it, I don't know if it is or not. Um, so the first one is their first album, Battalions of Fear. This is like straight up thrash, speed metal, really cool stuff on here. Um, I love the track By the Gates of Moria, it's an instrumental track, and then Guardians of the Blind, Wizard Crown, Wizard's Crown, um, all great stuff on here. Here's the back. I'm just going to go through these pretty quick so this video doesn't get too long. And it's just CDs. So there's that one. We have... Uh, Follow the Blind, another great album by them. Tracks on here to check out Vanish from Sanctuary, uh, Beyond the Ice, Valhalla. That one was really cool live. They played that one. And um, a lot of good stuff on here. Um, inside there, there's the back. Uh, this is uh, Somewhere Far Beyond. Tracks on here to check out. Uh, the Quest for Tantalorn. Probably Ashes to Ashes. Somewhere Far Beyond. It's out of track. Um, definitely the Barge song. Both of those in The Forest and The Hobbit. Um, if you listen to the Barge song in The Forest, it's an acoustic uh, song. Really like medieval sounding almost. And that one, if you listen to that, it really makes you get the sense of why people call them the Bards. Uh, they played it live, everybody's, you know, singing along to the lyrics, and just, uh, they, they're like storytellers, you know, in their stuff that they play. Like I said, they talk a lot about Tolkien and um, fantasy lyrics, so this is a cool album. Let's see inside real quick. And the last one that I have by them is A Nightfall in Middle Earth and as you can tell by the title this is like straight up Tolkien the whole album is like a concept album about Tolkien's The Cimmerillion which is like if you don't know Lord of the Rings that much it's pretty much the creation myths and the stuff that comes before the Lord of the Rings books um, so that's a really cool concept uh, for these guys to sing so inside uh, tracks on here, my favorite ones are Nightfall, it's a killer song, The Curse of Fiener, uh Blood Tears, Mirror Mirror, Noldor, Dead Winter Reigns, 
Um, a lot of good stuff on here. So that's the last one I have by Blind Guardian. Um, as I said, if you don't know them, definitely check them out. They're really killer stuff. You know, even if you like different types of metal, like thrash metal or power metal, symphonic metal, they kind of do everything, you know, within their 10 albums that, it, that they've made, you know. So definitely check out Blind Guardian, guys. So the next band is another one of my favorite bands in this genre. They're a Scandinavian band, specifically from the Faroese Islands, or the Faroe Islands, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, but this band is pretty much Viking metal, heavy metal, and like folk metal. And they are Tuir, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, I watched a video on how to pronounce the name, because I used to say it wrong, because the air emblem looks like T-Y-R, or when you see it written somewhere, it looks like T-Y-R. But it's pronounced to her, I believe. It's Faroese, I think. Um, this is their album, By the Light of the Northern Star. This is actually the first album that they released on vinyl. Um, it was from 2009. Check, yeah, 2009. Um, like I said, this is really heavy stuff. Folk metal. Um, a lot of their their music has like traditional folk melodies that they've kind of metalized, you know, made into metal songs. And they talk a lot about mythology, Norse mythology, um, Viking type lyrics and that thing, that kind of thing. So really cool stuff. Um, this is actually a custom cover that I made for this album because it's a picture disc. I'll show it to you in just a minute. Um, it didn't come with a like cardboard sleeve, so I wanted to protect it a little bit more on my shelf. Um, so I just took a regular sleeve that for an album I didn't didn't want, and spray painted it and pinstriped up the uh, the logo and stuff there. I think it turned out pretty cool, and it protects the uh, protects the vinyl nice. Just nothing on the back there. Um, it did come with this uh, inner lyric sheet here, and um, this is limited to 500 copies and I got a handwritten number 73 there so that's pretty cool and uh, it makes it even more special because this is the first album they released on vinyl and they haven't uh, they their older stuff you can't get on vinyl at all it's only on CD um, tracks to check out on here hold the heather hammer high one of my favorite tracks by them um, into the storm hear the heathen call um, and then they have some they sing in Faroese a lot they're native language. Um, I love the sound of that language. It really fits the music a lot, even though I don't know what they're saying, obviously, but you can see some of the tracks there are names in that language. So let me show you this uh, picture disc real quick. I believe this is the only picture disc I have in my collection at the moment. So there's the front. It's like uh, pretty much the album cover, I believe. And I don't know if I said, but this is on Napalm Records, I believe. I'll check here in just a second. Just the back side too. Um, let's see. Yes, this is on Napalm Records, uh, 2009. Uh, these guys, just like Blind Guardian, their lead singer, Harry, um, I think that's how you pronounce his name, H-E-R-I, um, got a, he's got a really powerful voice, definitely fits the, the music, the Viking music, you know, makes you feel like you're riding into battle, that sort of thing. Uh, their next album that I have by them is their album from 2011, it's uh, The Lay of Thrym. This is also on Napalm Records. Uh, their side two of this album is, you know, still like the folk melodies, the mythology lyrics. Um, side one, though, has a few tracks that are more like political and dealing with like social issues. Um, tracks like Flames of the Free, Shadow of the Swastika, and uh, Take Your Tyrant. Um, you know, they kind of deal with different things than they've talked about before, but still really good stuff in here. Um, so there's the front. It's a gatefold single LP. Got 
the lyrics in there. There's the back. It just came in a black inner sleeve when I got it. And it's on just black vinyl. It's nice thick vinyl though. You guys know I like thick vinyl. See the other side. So um, tracks to check out on here are the ones I kind of mentioned already. Uh, Flames of the Free, Shadow of the Swastika, um, Evening Star is a little bit slower song. That one uh, is really cool. I like that one a lot. Um, and then Koning Hans and track number eight. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that one's a really good song. Um, has a really nice traditional melody. Um, you know, that's one reason I like Viking metal and folk metal. You know, because they use the traditional melodies and put metal behind it, basically. So, killer album from 2011 from Tour. And I have one more by these guys, and it's their latest album from 2013, and that is Valkyrja. This is on Metal Blade Records, and I believe they signed a three record or a three album contract with Metal Blade, and this is the first of that contract. So I'm hoping they'll come out with something new pretty soon. Here's back of the cover. Double LP, there's the gatefold, got all the lyrics in here, and this is on clear vinyl, let's see, I guess it didn't come with inner sleeves, I don't have them in here, but I'll show you the clear real quick, there's clear vinyl, pretty sweet, I have a couple, a couple albums in clear vinyl in my collection. It's always kind of cool. So, um, tracks to check out on here. Blood of Heroes, um, The Lay of Our Love is a little bit slower song. has a guest vocalist, a female vocalist on there. Um, Valkyrja, Lady of the Slain. Good stuff on here. They actually also did two covers. I don't know if that's on the CD version or not. It's because it's saying bonus. Um, but they covered Iron Maiden's Where Eagles Dare and Pantera Cemetery Gates. So those are two cool songs. So that's Tour, and that's all the records I had to show you guys today. Um, like I said, I hope I can get more vinyl of this type in the future, because it's a genre that I liked a lot a year or two ago, and then I listened to a few of these just to kind of prepare a little bit better for this video. I don't know how well I did, you know, sorry if it's a little bit choppy again. Um, but that's kind of the, the fun part about making these videos is it gets me to, to listen to some of the stuff that I have in my collection that I haven't listened to in a while just to kind of get reoriented to it to make a video, you know. Um, so that's all I had to show you. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't too terrible to watch again. And hopefully I'll be able to make some more videos in the future.